On this episode of C++ Weekly, we're going to talk about C++ 20's two array utility function. And now I skipped the normal intro part in my excitement to get to this episode. So just so you are aware, my name is Jason Turner, and I am available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Although I don't expect very many companies to be looking for C++ 20 training just yet. So let's go ahead and get started with this. We're going to include the array header. There's this new two array utility function. Let's go ahead and look at that. Now I've got this hello world string. I've got this hello world string and I would like to use it as a STD array if possible. Now this code would like to work. Um, it's trying to. What this takes is a C array. So let's go ahead and just dial it back one more step. I've got my data array that is an array of three ints. And I want to convert that into a C++ standard array. And I can do that now with this two array utility function. Now what this did is it created a standard array of three integers. And if you don't believe me, then I'll just go ahead and give it its type. So it should look like this. This is a standard array of three integers. It took the data in the C style array, copied it into our C++ array. Now, this has advantages because this example, what I was trying to show earlier, and I was, yeah, it was going to fail. I knew it was going to fail. This fails. Why? Because what is the type of STR right here? This is a, that's right, a const character pointer because arrays really, really like to decay to pointers. It's an unfortunate holdover from C that we inherited with C++. Now, interestingly, if I pass in this hello world literal, this is actually a const character array. And originally it was always a const character array. It just really, really likes to become a pointer. C arrays want to become pointers. So this is an array. Now we have a C++ array around the, that contains the data of our C character literal. Now, generally speaking, this isn't going to be necessary, but this kind of thing could be very helpful to you um, in one way or the other, moving in and out from C style arrays when interacting with C libraries into C++ arrays. You want to be able to return something and not have to worry about returning a pointer to an object on the stack, for example, that has gone out of its lifetime. So just an interesting little utility function and yet another note for why you should be aware of all of the things that are in your standard library. 